Hey guys, so Hard Candy has released a limited edition Trolls collection in conjunction with the movie that was released at the theater. There are 15 pieces in the collection. I had to get two of them. This is just so darn cute, this whole thing. It's cute and it's colorful and it's only available at Walmart because that's the only place where you can buy Hard Candy makeup. So at the end of the video, there's going to be still photographs and swatches of all the products. And uh, so stay tuned for that. But I got the Prismatic Luminizer, which is basically a rainbow highlight. Now I know a lot of companies have been coming out with rainbow highlighters lately, but I don't have any of those. So I figured I would pick this one up. I do have it on right now. And what I use to apply it is a blush, a brush that comes from a Benefit blush because it is exactly the right size. So I just swept it across the rainbow and just, you know, whoosh, right across that whole area. I'm going to have to uh, play around with this and try it in different ways and see, but really pretty, really fun, and not so crazy that you wouldn't want to not wear it. And then I got the eyeshadow palette, which has scenery from the movie on there. And then on the back, it has like the characters in silhouette at the bottom. There are 15 eyeshadows in the palette with a small mirror that says, hug your heart out at the bottom of it. And those are the colors. Now, like I said, I am gonna show you swatches, but I just want to comment on the shadows themselves since I have swatched them all. The only one that I didn't like the way it swatched was this this light blue right here because it has very chunky glitter in it that sort of rests on the top of the swatch that can't really be blended in. So I didn't really care for the texture of that one. But other than that, they all swatched really nice. I did use them to do my look today. This color right here. On camera, it just looks like a white, but actually it's like an opal. I use that as my brow bone highlight and as my inner corner highlight, and it has almost like a duochrome effect to it. It's really pretty. It flashes white and I would say maybe blue might be the other color. And then I used this taupe shade as my crease color, and then I used the mint green on my lids. So pretty happy with uh, the way they've performed so far. But of course I'll have to play around with it some more to see how they all work out. But based on the swatches, this is definitely worth the $8 that I paid for it. So I really like that. Now in addition to those two products, there is a marbleized lipstick, a Pass the Glitter palette, which is basically pressed glitters, a mood lip balm that changes depending on your body chemistry. There are color changing lip glosses, two different shades of those. There is a hair chalk tin. There are poppin pigments trios, two different choices on those three colors each. And there are metallic mousse matte lipsticks which come in four different shades. So I just decided to go with the Prismatic Luminizer and the eyeshadow palette. And um, so yeah, I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible because I think this collection is gonna sell out really fast because everything in it is so affordable, the packaging is so adorable, bright, fun colors, and how can you go wrong? So stay tuned for the swatches and the photographs, and thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.